Welcome back to the Seaboard Central, everyone. Today, we're gonna to start adding some scenery to this side of the hill. And also, if we have time on the video, we'll start on the other side of the tracks as well. In the past, we basically had a couple of choices and it all had to do with this clump foliage. And uh, you're basically limited that with your scenery. Not a lot of texture. Although this has its place, we're gonna be working with something a lot more finer texture, more realistic. So today we're gonna to be using some grass tufts made by Woodland Scenics, and also some bushes and some grasses made by Martin Wellberg. And these really do have a good realistic texture. And I'll probably just be putting them down with just regular white glue. In addition to that, I did manage to save all the trees from the old layout. And so I may be putting some of that scenery in various places and also some of this Woodland Scenics fine foliage that I'll apply some leaf texture to, to create some vines. It does a good job making kudzu, things like that. So to start out with, we need to start adding some scenery along the edge of the backdrop. And I wanna to try to blend, blend it into the backdrop as much as I can. And so those are medium greens and light greens. And we'll start out with something like this. This is a medium green grass tufts by Woodland Scenics. In addition to that, it has some of the light green version as well by Woodland Scenics grass tufts. And also some taller bushes can be made by the prairie grass. That'll give a different texture that you see along the backdrop. All right, so I'll start out, put a little white glue down here and I don't wanna press these down too much. Something like that. I want to vary them. We'll go with one of these. And put something right in here. All right, you see how I've varied the grasses and I tried to do them in little clumps. So now what we'll do is we'll add some of these uh, bushes by Martin Wilberg and these are a light green and a medium green and just kind of blend them in as well. I'll add a little glue here. You see what a huge difference that makes. All right, you can see how it's already starting to blend into the backdrop, and now we're gonna add a couple of the larger bushes, and this is an olive green and a medium green. Kinda of just push them down into the scenery. There's a lot of growth coming out of there. And put a olive in there. Now we're going to, what we're going to do is add some of this grass mat by Martin Wilberg. And what we'll do is we'll focus on this area right in here where there'll be some grasses growing in this embankment and then stitch area. You just peel this off the mat like this. Comes off just like that. I'm just gonna vary the look. Let's 
just kind of make it sporadic. And then we can go back in and add some of these other grasses too, where it might be a little thicker. Just to give it a little variation. This next product is an actual grass mat that you have to rip off have to completely rip it off and try to make sure there's no straight edges like that and then you can blend it in but just push the edges down something like that I got some scrap super tree material from the old layout so I just dug me a little hole this simulates bushes good undergrowth material just stick him in like this to... or right, we'll finish this off with some old trees I got from the layout these are JTT pine trees which Look pretty decent. They'll, uh, they're not the best in the world, but they will work for this background scenery. So I'm gonna stop the video here. You can see that we really transformed that hill and it looks a lot better now. Hope you've learned something from it and took something out of it to help for your own layout. So until next time, thanks for watching and happy model railroading everyone.